Hello, this is Caspaloo, and welcome back to more Golden Sun. We are in the Mercury Lighthouse, and we just solved some puzzles and fought some mimics and stuff. This is just here for a shortcut back to the other side, uh, which is not where we want to go. We want to go here because waterfalls. Okay, uh, just three. Well, we already know what to do with these. Um, is this the only one? I think so, but yeah, it is. Just have to double check. Uh, obviously, these will not work if there's no water. So... Are you ready for more piping minigames? It's sort of like a log puzzle, except with pipes. Yeah. Anyway. 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 This one is pretty easy, although you could run into trouble if you push them in the wrong order, but it's... There's not that many. It's pretty simple. And now the water fills. Ta-da! And we can get across. Yay! So let's do that. Hop, 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 hop! And up some more? Wait, what? Hmm... Whatever. Whatever. How am I going to... Let's... Wait, you attack there. You use Tundra, and... Attack that, I guess? We'll see what's still standing. Maybe nothing. Hopefully something. Yeah, that, that works well enough. Don't want to flee, want to defend! Because I can do this. And it can do that. But I don't really care if it poisons me, because I can heal it. Okay, two things. It didn't get knocked back. And it plays the dying sound twice. It also sort of does this rainbowy thing when it dies, but that... Dies? These are all indications that you killed it with the Ginny it's weakest against. And for doing so, you get boosted experience and coins, and a higher drop rate for things that drop stuff. I know I already explained that, but I wanted to do it again more because I feel I did a really bad job of explaining it the first time around. Uh, we can stand on this, but, well, it doesn't stay open. We need a thing to push around here so that we can keep it closed. Maybe that statue! It seems like a good candidate, but how do we get to it? Well, we don't, actually. Um, yeah, that's right. What we need to do is push more pipes around. Like so. And then we need to push it back to the other side. Sigh. And then we need to go back over there again because that's sort of the, just the nas that's just sort of the annoyingly it's the order we need to do it in. Oh well. Then we need to push this down. And then we need to go around for the fourth time and push this again. And huzzah! The statue's in the hole. And now we can go further! Woohoo! So let's just go and do that, I guess. There and over. And then the button will be down and then we can continue. Okay, um, I want to say two of these have something behind them. Obviously not that one. Or that one. Maybe none of them have something behind them. Well, one of them does. Okay, right, this one and the one over there does. Is this a... S okay, this is a box. It's a nut, really? Well, that didn't really cost me anything, so I can't really complain, but it's not really very useful either. Ah, well. 
Wait, the students stay in place? Really? That's... Well, I guess they would have to because they used the door. Anyway. Now this one is where we actually want to go. For more piping. Wait, what is, where does this actually go? Oh! Right. I totally forgot about that. Cool. And this is more than three, right? Yeah. I don't think we've seen a harpy yet. Hmm. It might be weak against wind, but it's probably another thing that's weak against fire. Let's do plasma anyway, though. Because <laughs> why not? Pretty much. Pretty much. Well, actually, that w that plasma was highly effective on it. Uh, of course you missed. Of course. Well, we'll try this. It might not even kill it, to be honest, but... We'll try it. And we already know the Lizard Man is weak against fire, so... Yeah. Oh, no! Okay, it was knocked back, but it did play... It did do the rainbow effect, and it played the dying sound twice. So I guess some of the time they are knocked back, but still. The rainbow death and the double de dying sound. For sure. And an elixir. whoop de doo Um... I really could have sworn there was a set all button. I really w Maybe that's not until the sequel? I don't know. I just don't. Uh, I can go through here though. It's the Ginny! Yep, of course there's a Ginny in here. It's a water Ginny. And... Guess what? We're in a dungeon, so it's gonna attack us. And I didn't save beforehand! Shit! Oh well, it's not too big a deal. Because to be honest, I think it is not... Um... I can do that, actually. Um... Uh, then I'll use Spire this turn, and you should actually heal Garrett, and you can use Fury, because we are going to try to kill it with a Ginny. We'll see how that works out, but we'll try. Now, I don't think I'll kill it this round. But I might kill it next round. So let's use Flint, and let's use... You're not going to be very effective because it's a Water Genie. So... But I don't really need a heal right now either. Hmm. I guess I'll just use Ice, but it's not going to do much. And you can use Volcano this time. Then I'll use... Fever next time. Let's see. Oh, damn it! I didn't think that would kill it! Oh well. It's not that big a deal. I mean, it's just boosted experience from, from the Ginny. So. It's, it does, none of them drop any items. Um, Sleet I, does damage. Not very much, but. I don't remember what its extra effect is. Drops attack power, okay. Actually, wait, does it do damage? I don't remember. And she turns into a Water Seer, which is, you know, nice. Anyway, uh, oh hey, I need to heal Isaac. There we go. Anyway. Really, not only the one? Weird. Well, it was the important one anyway, so can't really complain. Really cannot. And it's another siren! You are easy to... Last hit. Glowers miserably at me? Had no effect. That's probably a good thing, because I don't remember what that does. It is a siren, though. Wait, what? Sirens are not weak against fire! What the hell are they weak against, then? Earth, maybe? I don't know. 
That makes them a lot harder to last hit, though. Oh well. Oh well, what you gonna do? Not much. And more of this. Man, I really have no idea what sirens are weak against. This is gonna bother me now. I Maybe they're weak against wind? That's the only thing that would make sense at this point. Because they really should not be weak against uh, water. Hmm. And they're not weak against earth either, so... I don't know. I guess it's... Well, you know, let's try out wind this time around, I guess. Just don't... Ah, uh, that might kill it. Well, it didn't kill it. So, as long as Maya doesn't kill it, which is unlikely, unless she gets an Unleash. Of course she did. Oi. Well, there's no way Ivan can kill this with only one attack, so... I guess I'm not gonna find out this time. Okay, she uses Water Synergy. Are you seriously telling me that she's not weak against fire? Man... Oh well. Oh well, it's not that important. It really isn't. Uh, this looks familiar. He who honors the goddess of rainbows shall be guided to the heavens upon winds, wings rather, of fluid grace. So, do I use ply? It looks like he used ply. Oh yeah, by the way, I haven't, it hasn't really been explicitly stated yet, but I figure I'll point it out now. For the people who've been paying attention, we have basically been, the water's flowing up now. That's just wrong. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, we've basically been able to confirm that Alex is a member of the Mercury clan. Eh. Still can't say that. And therefore is probably a water adept. Why he can fly and teleport and shit, I don't know, but... Yeah, he's probably a water adept. As he can enter here, meaning he's a member of the clan, as Maya confirmed, and the lighthouse just got lit. Weren't we supposed to stop that or something? I think we were. Oh, uh... Yeah, that's, that's, that's not good. Let's use that. Uh, oh, I should have healed first. Oh well. It's not a big deal. Although, what is a big deal? This is, Im this is important. Save your freaking game. Right here. Because... Shit's about to go down. It's too late! The lighthouse has already been lit! It... it can't be! The beacon cannot be lit without the Mercury Star. About that... The elemental stars were stolen from Soul Sanctum on Mount Alf. Mount Alf? Soul Sanctum? Are you healers from- well... I am technically a healer from Soul Sanctum. It's not my main profession, though. Um... We came from a village called Vale to recover the three elemental stars. Well, two now, I suppose. But, unlike you, we're not healers. Speak for yourself, dude. Did you say Vale? Our village was there to protect Soul Sanctum, but the stars were stolen. Why is Garrett of all people giving the expo exposition? Well, I guess he's the only option, seeing as Isaac is functionally mute. Or, well, he's not really mute so much as just very reserved with... He is literally a man of few words. Um, <laughs> that sounds just like my clan. Eh. Throat sore. Um, I have failed in the one duty placed upon me. This is terrible! 
Isaac! Garrett! It's Jenna! Haven't seen her in a while. And also the other people! So it's you, Isaac. <laughs> no, let me try that again. <laughs> Are those kids still alive? You came all this way to save Jin and Kraden. That's not it at all! We're after the Elemental Stars! In other words, they've come to stop us. Then we have no choice. Let's take care of them now, before they can do any harm. Minardi, wait! Oh, Satoros, they want to... Was he, like, hiding behind there the whole time? Shouldn't we have been able to see him? I mean, from the angle of the player, no, but I think... Anyway, I heard everything. They were lucky to survive the eruption of Mount Alf. You have endured so much, and now you want to throw your lives away? Fine, if that's what you wish. Prepare to have it granted. I, I mucked up that line. Oh well. Satyros, are you going to fight them alone? Minarty, I can't expect you to leave our hostages alone and help me, can I? Uh, that's true. Besides, I want to see how much their powers have developed. Are you sure about this, Satyros? Leave it to me! Head for the next lighthouse, now! Come here, child. Do you mean to defy me? I should teach you a lesson, child, but... Time is of the essence. Felix, I'd get your sister to obey me if you hope to keep her from harm. Chin up, please. Just do as she says for now. It's alright, Jenna. I should have done Creedence's voice, I suppose, but whatever. Isaac and Garrett shouldn't have come after us. I'm sorry, Isaac. Garrett. I'm counting on you. And down they go. With the... Ancient... Elevator. Oi. Jenna, Kraden! If you want to save them, you'll have to beat me first. No, get back! What's the matter? Satyros is extremely powerful. I could sense it when I faced him. You ha have to be very careful when fighting him, and it's true, which is why we saved first. We have to match str his strength. Fortunately, there's four of us and only one of him. Match me? Ha! <laughs> you think you can match the great Satros? Uh, in this case, yes. For one very good reason. He is a Mars adept. We are in the Mercury Lighthouse, which was just lit. Fine then, I'll just teach you all a lesson! As he demonstrates here, what happened? Satros is moving strangely. What's this? The light of Mercury! It's weakening my synergy! Yep, he is weakened by being in this lighthouse. Oddly enough, Garrett isn't, but you know, whatever. Him being weakened and us having Maya, a. Uh, a. Well, yeah, 
those two things combined together are basically the only reason we can take him on, even though there's four of us and only one of him. Uh, however, don't for a moment think we aren't going to exploit the crap out of this fact. Uh, let's see, I want to buff up Isaac, I think. First, and then you, I think Tundra is her most powerful spell. And more f attack up. We're just we're going to be doing nothing but attacking with Garrett because his synergy is going to be very ineffective against Satoros. Ah, uh, ooh, ooh. That is why we want to boost resistance. Um, eh. Which is what I'm going to do right now. And I need to cure Ivan. And use Tundra. And... Sure, why not? Let's just get the... Let's just do the level 2 fire summon right away. Get it out of the way, so to speak. Seems like a good call. I mean, it won't be super effective, but... It's probably the best, still the best way for Garrett to deal damage. Uh, you may as well do that, so I can do your summon as well. You need to just heal, because with I, Maya on the offensive, Isaac is basically our heal bot. And you can summon Kirin. Yeah, that was not very effective. Uh, that, on the other hand, was highly effective. Hmm, I could use a... So that's what that looks like. Um, I could use an elixir to cure that on Garrett, but I really don't want to. If I can help it. Hmm. Let's see, I need to heal Garrett. You need to use... Actually, I should use this. Because it'll weaken his attack power more. And also, if I summon something with Maya, her synergy will actually be more powerful. Um, it will make her more vulnerable to attack, though. So it's a little bit risky. Hmm... I probably should use an elixir on Garrett because he's not going to be very useful if he can't hit with his attack, with his regular attacks. Hmm. Okay, that hurt a lot. Um. Look, yeah, that's what I thought. And this is sort of fine, actually, because I need to heal with Maya this turn anyway. She doesn't... Yeah, I really do. Uh, you can use Plasma, I guess. You can cure... I know you can cure Maya. I'm more concerned about her dying than I am Ivan. Because I need her to deal all my damage. Did the- wait. Did the, my status effect wear off? I think it did. Go figure. Uh, let's just attack him again. And I'm not even gonna try to finish Satros off with a Ginny. It would be worth a lot of experience, but he is too strong to take the risk. To, um, to be a blunt. Oh yeah, incidentally, the, uh, ooh, I can summon you, that's nice. I just want to mention this really quickly though, summons also use the same, um, stats as your synergy, which means casting summons repeatedly also makes your summons more powerful. I should do this again, because it'll increase my defense. And you need to heal yourself, and you can summon. And let's boost attack power again. Yeah, that that this seems like a good call. 
just boost my resistance, which is good, because this will hurt like a bitch. And the level 2 water summon is kind of... That is not even happening in my emulator, that just happens within the game. Some of the summons, that one... Some of the summons have a lot of particle effects, so they slow things down a lot. But, you know, whatever. Um... I may as well do this again, I guess. Or, you know, I'll just do this, because it's not really worth attacking with the Ivan even using the Ginny. Uh, I need to heal Ivan, though. Uh, you can use this, and... You are worthwhile attacking with. Yeah, that was pretty effective. Uh, ooh. And Delusion again. That's annoying. But does not stop my Ginny from connecting. Okay, okay, let's use Plasma. I need to- I sort of need to heal Maya as well. Or I'm getting there at least. Hmm. Well, let's use- uh, I don't really want to use Sleep because it'll drop her HP more. And at that point, she will actually be in a dangerous uh, HP zone. Whereas right now she has just enough to be more or less okay. Uh, we're doing pretty well though. I don't think Satros will take too much longer. But it's hard to tell. There's not really any good indicator. Oh, that did it. Okay then. That's a pretty good indicator, I guess. 300 experience. Imagine if we had boosted this, you know? 800 coins! Think of the money! But, again, it's not really worth it, because he will freaking kill you. Um... Who would have thought the Mercury Lighthouse had held such great power? If only my synergy had been at full power, he would have killed us. Um... <laughs> Satros, you said you were weakened. What did you mean? I... I meant nothing. I shall tell you what he means. It's Alex. That voice, could it be? It could. He was behind... The well, I guess he could have just teleported behind there. It's been a while, Maya. Alex, do you realize what you've done? Ha! Of course. I have freed a great power that has long been sealed away. Mercury, the lighthouse of water. What a mighty force. Alex, you... Are you mad? I think he's quite sane. Uh... Maybe not, though. Um, anyway. No, Maya. Don't you understand? The lighthouse granted you great power during your battle with Satros. Yep, she was also powered up. Uh, mostly it was just a synergy thing, actually. I don't think it directly powered up her synergy. Although, who knows? It, it might have... They might have just dropped... Uh, Satros's um, Mercury weakness even more to compensate. It's certainly possible. It's true. I could use my power without ever depleting it. Yeah, exactly. Don't you see? The Mercury Lighthouse supplied you with limitless synergy. Synergy? Are you telling me our powers come from synergy? No kidding! You and I are both members of the Mercury Clan. Masters of Water Synergy. Way to keep up, Garrett. Come on, you're even worse than her. Jeez, Isaac, you know all along. You didn't tell us. I didn't think I needed to tell you because it was so obvious. 
Obviously, I was mistaken. Tell me, Alex, why hasn't why wasn't Satoros able to use his full power? Ah, yes, I shall explain it. Satoros is aligned with Mars, the clan of fire. Fire and water are opposing elements. His full power was bound by the wit water synergy of the lighthouse. Didn't Satoros know that? Of course he knew, but he underestimated us. However, he failed to appreciate the power of this lighthouse. As did I. Is that why we were able to defeat Satoros? No, there's more to it. I stood by, watching your battle from afar. You were watching us? He can fly, of course he was watching us. He's probably always watching us. That's kind of a creepy thought. Yes, I did not help Satoros because I was certain he would win. But I was wrong. You have become such great fighters in a short time. Satoros is up again? But we beat him! That's not fair! Me? Beaten? Never! I lost to the lighthouse, not to you. I was merely stalling you until Satoros regained his strength. Which is a pretty good reason to give exposition, actually. Um... Alex, criminal genius! Not too far from the truth. You were... You were just buying time! That's not fair, Alex! I won't let Satoros escape! Can you fly, Garrett? And just what do you... And just what are you going to do? Will you finish him off? Um, let me think about this. Yes. If that's the case, you will have to fight me as well. I've seen how you fight. You cannot hope to win. And I doubt you're the type to finish anyone off. Of course, you are welcome to believe whatever you want. And then he teleports. He warped again! Again? He's done that before? So, that's a power he acquired He acquired outside of the lighthouse, I, I guess. That's what it's... Yeah, in Soul Sanctum. That synergy, the warp. Does that mean Mia can use it? No, it's impossible. Even Alex didn't have this kind of power before. Uh, well, I can't stay the same Alex you knew forever. And the elevator. Well, it seems that my ride has returned while we were speaking. And so I bid you adieu. Isaac, Satoru still is the elemental stars! That's right, we can't let them leave now. Oh, and you want to take the Elmo stars from Sat- Of course I do. Ha! Too bad. Minardi has them. You'll have to ask her. That reminds me. That was a little delayed. Oh well. Uh... No? Are you telling the truth? Well, I shall believe you for now. I suppose you'll be willing to pursue us for the st- Uh... Yes. No one lying to them. Um, in this case. I look forward to it. I shall see you soon, then. Goodbye. I look forward to our next battle. They're gone. And Soul Sanctum music! Yay! This is just the best music ever. Uh, although maybe not the most appropriate timing for me to be happy. 
her anyway. Shoot, we couldn't even save Jenna. I don't deserve to be a healer. We couldn't stop them from lighting the beacon. I have failed my clan, failed in my duty. That's not true, we can still- of course we can, Ivan. That's right, Isaac. All we have to do is stop them from lighting all the lighthouses! The Beacon of Mercury lighthouse has been lit, but ne but we'll stop them next time. That's right, we can save Jenna at the next lighthouse. Yes, we won't let Alex get away with this. Or, you know, the fire people. Let's go after them now! What's the matter? We should hurry! We? Maya, are you coming along with us? But the people of Immel need you, Maya. It's okay. The fountain shall be filled as long as the lighthouse is lit. Close enough. That's an old saying. The fountain will run over with healing waters now. I have mixed feelings about leaving, but Emil will be fine as long as the fountain continues to flow with the water of Hermes. We should hurry if we're going to follow them. And hurry we shall. Um... Next time. Because this is really long, uh, and we've completed a lighthouse. And more, perhaps most significantly of all, we've also recruited Maya, another healer, and, our, and a fourth character, and completing our adept pool. By which I mean elemental pool. Wind, earth, water, and fire. We have one of each now. So, until next time when we continue exploring the world and probably return to Kolima to finish that up. Uh, this has been Chaos Baloo with Let's Play Golden Sun, and have a good day.